It's the younger generation's hip ailment. Usually it's a younger, more active patient, anywhere from 15 to 55. Instead of complaints of stiffness or bone-on-bone -bone rubbing, these patients experience pain on the inside of their hip near the groin. It can either be a, a dull ache, it can be a very sharp knife-like pain, it can be popping, clicking. Until recently, doctors often had trouble identifying the problem. Patients that didn't have arthritis but had groin pain would be told that maybe it was from a pinched nerve in their back, maybe it was from uh, some type of, of muscle groin strain, chronic strain, or even a gynecologic or urologic problem because we really didn't understand what else could cause pain in an otherwise healthy looking joint on x-ray. In many cases, the culprit was a torn labrum. It's a form of cartilage that lines the rim of the hip socket and helps stabilize the hip joint. It acts kind of like a gasket that can become torn and it may just be frayed a little bit, but it doesn't take a lot of damage to cause a lot of pain. Treating a labral tear has become a hip preserving operation. Surgeons now use arthroscopy to operate inside the ball and joint using slender tools. We can remove what are called loose bodies, which are small fragments of bone and cartilage that in some people floats around that tight joint and causes a lot of pain and mechanical locking and clicking. Uh, those are easily removed through the scope. Recovery is fast compared to traditional open surgeries that require big incisions. Hip arthroscopy is commonly an outpatient procedure, with a patient on crutches anywhere from a week to a month. One of the most exciting things about this is that a few short years ago, patients with this problem were either not being diagnosed or they were given you know, rather poor treatment options. While most emphasis is focused on hip replacement, repairing pre-arthritic hips may prevent future problems down the road. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.